Our next guest is the, an absolute superstar and all-round delight. Brooke Hansen is an Olympic gold medalist, TV presenter, author, mother and motivational speaker. Is there anything she can't do? Let's find out. Please give Brooke a big girlfriend out welcome. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you? Oh, welcome to the show. Oh, that is for you. Thank you. <laughs> when silver is gold. What a gorgeous book cover. Let me sit that there. Um, that's amazing. Thank you for coming on the Girlfriend Dow. This is a bit exciting for me. No pressure. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be on. <laughs> Yay. So walk us through your Olympic and championship career. Well, I had the Olympic dream at the, the age of four and I just wanted to be an Olympian. At the age and, of four. Yeah, and go to the Olympics and represent my country and wear the green and gold with the coat of arms on my chest. And I was just inspired by the Olympians that had gone before me and <laughs> Just, yeah, it just stayed with me and I missed two Olympic teams by a, a couple one hundredths of a second and had people telling me, you, you know, you're too old, you're too slow, you should give up, go get a real job. And and I think, yeah, as a as a woman, I'm just so proud that I I didn't. Yeah. I, I found that determination, that re resilience from within to say, no, I, I want to be true to true to myself, true to that young four-year-old me. And, yeah. and I finally achieved Olympic gold and silver at a, at a time when most po people had thought that it's my time late. and, yeah, my yeah. time had passed me by. You showed them. <laughs> <laughs> now, being an elite athlete takes incredible tenacity. Where did that actually come from for you? Oh, I... I believe it definitely comes from those women around me, my, my grandmothers, my, my mother, my family, but really they, they empowered me to just believe in myself and a lot of it does, it does sit with, with me to be determined and resilient and to never give up and everything that I put into my swimming career and the, the training sessions and, you know, the lonely laps and mm. to represent my country 25 times over all of those major international events, it was, it was wonderful to achieve achieve that. But everything I learned along the way, I've now just implemented every single thing into my own business, into my own personal brand and running my own company. And, and I think those life lessons will be with me forever. Absolutely. And there's so many things that we can take from that and implement into our lives. But I can imagine, Brooke, that going on that journey, there would have been some challenges to overcome because it's nothing as smooth sailing as they say. What were some of yours? Definitely those, yeah, those missed teams, um, times when you were told, I, I was told I wasn't good enough. I, I got told I was allergic to chlorine. Oh, um, I had injuries, That's illness. a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> injuries, illness, oh. uh, just upsets along the way. But I think remaining true to myself and, and just being my authentic, real self and going, do you know what? I've got this. Yes. And there's times where you, you doubt yourself and others doubt you as well. Mm -hmm. But I think what, yeah, what I'm most proud of is that that I did it, yes. that I didn't give up, that I found a positive every single day to focus on and, and I just continued to shine even in those dark times when I didn't think I could swim another yeah. lonely lap, I did. Oh. oh, it must have taken everything and I'd love to dive in now. So if you're watching at home, um, what are some of the tips, Brooke, that some of our audience around the world can tune into from you around fostering that that real positive mindset. How do you actually foster that? And what are some tips that they could try themselves? Just choosing that positive mindset every day is so important. Which isn't easy. So how do you do it when it's the not wheels easy. fall off? So <laughs> and you just want to have a wine, which we've been given permission from Catherine to do, as long as we have the balance of fats. <laughs> just, just, you can only hold one thought at a time. So mm. I always say make it a positive one, even at 4 a.m. in the morning when that I was up for training. That should be on a t-shirt, right? One thought at a time, make it a positive make one. Make it a positive one. And then, you know, we, we have a thousand things on our to-do list every day we want to get through a thousand things yes. especially as women yes. but I just say just do one thing just one great mm. thing every day so you, we can go to bed tonight and you lay in bed and you go do you know what yeah I achieved just one great thing today yes and I'm happy with that yes and I, I really believe that choosing a positive mindset being that happy person and I've always got a smile on my face hence when silver is gold yeah. I I was so proud that I'd finally achieved being on the podium achieving an Olympic medal I came home as the happiest silver medalist you couldn't wipe the smile off my face <laughs> because I was proud that I swam my fastest time in the biggest sporting event in the world in the final at the Olympic Games wow. and I I was proud that I did that for me and I and I 
think at times we get so carried away with what everyone else thinks and mm. it's very um, toxic at times. Yes. But instead of blocking out all the negativity, following your own dream, yes. your own heart, your own resilience and owning it and putting your shoulders back and uh, and giving yourself a pet talk. Yeah, I'd, I'd do that in the Olympic yeah, final. I still you. do it now. Yeah. Come on, you got this, girl. You've got this. <laughs> Love and, and blocking out the negativity was always and still is a big thing for me of just, just choose that positive thought every single day. Yes, if you've only got one, make it a positive one. Great thing to write down people at home as well. Now, what was the process of writing your book? Because when, when silver is gold, what a great title, right? Because it doesn't always mean that you've got to just get gold. You can get silver and it means it's gold anyway. Yeah. Uh, but what was the process of going through writing the book? It would have brought up a lot of those, those lonely laps, as you call them, and training times and times you missed out by hundredths of a second. It would have brought all of that up for you. Take us through the process. Yeah, it was, so, it was therapeutic and I, I loved sharing my stories, my journals. I kept journals the whole way as well and, and I'm just so proud to, yeah, to release my autobiography and I now sell them through my website, brookhanson.com. The money all goes to a, a special charity, Life's Little Treasures Foundation, Aww. and they support families of babies born premature or sick and, mm. and it's a charity really close to my heart and, mm. and, yeah, I found the whole experience really therapeutic and it was, yes, it was quite spiritual in a way to, yeah. to reflect and I really felt like I grew from, from the whole experience. Oh, fantastic. Well done. And how has being a parent changed your perspective? Oh, just, yeah, being, being a mum was more proud of them winning Olympic gold and silver and, yeah. and to, to finally, yeah. To... It's an Olympic race as it is, isn't it, <laughs> raising a family? <laughs> it definitely is. But, to, yeah, to be a mum now of four, I have Aww. three with me and our angel that looks over us and, and guides me and gives me so much purpose and passion every day. And um, it was, yeah, it was heartbreaking to, I guess, face my biggest nightmare as a mum and, and that's to have to bury my son. Um, that, that was... That was difficult, but being a mum is is it's just changed it's changed my life and and like like so many of us that are that are parents, mm. um, at times of course they're they're testing um, every single boundary. Yes. But I'm looking at them going, wow, like we we created these, you know, these beautiful yeah. children and and Jack, who looks over me. The purpose that he gives me every day to empower other people to to live mm. every day like it's their last. Mm. I I live now with his energy, and every mm. single thing I do is to give back to him and to connect with charities like Life's Little Treasures, mm. who really supported me through those times when in hospital I didn't think I could keep going, oh. and there was days that it was really tough. Oh. Um, but it's nice now, as yeah, as a mum, to know that I am yeah continuing to give back and support other, yeah. other parents that have been through the same thing. Yeah. That's so beautiful. What's next for Brooke Hansen? So exciting <laughs> to let you know what's next. Um, I'm just about to release a energy health, energy oh. management course uh, for so many people to connect with and to enjoy that. And I've just teamed up with a girlfriend mm -hmm. and we're actually just collaborated together and pre presenting courses on my period is my superpower. Oh, yeah. what a great, lovely idea. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's really, oh. yeah, embracing and um, empowering those young teenagers to, to mm. help them realise yes. that it is that hormonal time and how they can, yeah, can Embrace cope, it. It, and cope with it yes. and understand that it is, it is normal yes. and, <laughs> and that it can be your superpower. I raced at the Olympics with my period and, oh. and that was the biggest sporting event in the world and, and there's times that it's going to come at the worst time, yes. but you can get through it. So, yeah, it's... Uh, Watch this space. There's so much exciting things happening oh. for me and I'm just enjoying every single day. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you loving the Girlfriend Hour so far? We hope you've been inspired by the wonderful women you've seen sharing their stories. Do you have an inspiring story of your own to share? We're looking for magic just like yours. Be featured in Feminescence magazine and start your own exciting media journey. Join many other fabulous women who've been profiled in Feminescence magazine unlock access to an international audience, propel your career and expand your network. Make today the day you back yourself. What are you waiting for? Visit feminessence.com.au to find out more.